Hey James, what do you do next Tuesday evening? I'm going to my niece's dance recital at 6. She's goose number 3. Why? I need somebody to drive me home from the dentist after I get my wisdom teeth removed. The surgery will be done at 5, please? I don't know, Ben. That's cutting it kind of close. Did you ask Kathleen or Cameron? Mm, I don't think our friendship is ready for that kind of experience. Eh, yeah. Fair. Okay, well, don't worry about it. I'll be fine. On the bus. <sighs> Come on. One foot in front of the other, buddy. Yes, yes, so strong. Yeah, I've been working out. <laughs> Wait, James, don't leave me. Ben, you'll be fine. I'll text you later. But I will feel good. I might die. You need to sleep. But how can I sleep with so few teeth in my head? Go to sleep, Ben. Tell me a story. Oh, fine. Here's the story of ungiven gifts. Once upon a time, a wizard searched for four cards, and his uh, another wizard uh, looked at them and then put two in the trash, but it was fine because he gave him two tutors. The end. No, James. Tell me a story with a happy ending. What? He got two tutors! But I play mono red. Fine. Here's the story of Missy Locks. Once upon a time, a grown woman who should have known better was invited to Commander Night at the Three Bears house. Hi! I know I'm two hours early, but I was in the neighborhood. Uh, your lonely neighbor let me in, and all your doors were unlocked. Inside the house, she came across a kitchen table. It was laid out with snacks and commander decks for the game night. Ooh, snacks. Oh, too spicy. Mmm. Too sweet. Just right. She wasn't hungry, but she didn't have anything better to do, so Missy Locks ate all the snacks. Once she was done eating food that didn't belong to her, she was bored. So she went to look at the commander decks. Ooh, Alinda the Dusk Rose. Vampire Tribal, but no Edgar Markov? Ugh, this deck is too janky. Ooh, Urza, Lord High Artificer. Ugh, this deck is too competitive. Whoa, Galta Primal Hunger? Mono Green Ramp? <sighs> this deck is just right. Once Missy Locks was finished getting grease all over the Galta deck, she felt very tired. Hey, a bed. All priority. Get out of our house. Yeah, that's fair. Wow, did you just come up with that off the top of your head? Yes, Ben. I invented the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears just now, just for you. Cool. Now that you've had some practice, could you make up a better story? Ben, I need to go. Pretty please with sugar on top? Except none sugar for me because of my tooth holes. Ew, I don't want to think about your tooth holes. If only I had that luxury. Maybe a story would help though. Once upon a time, there was a little mermaid. And one fine day during a triple Ixalan draft, the little mermaid first picked a perfectly reasonable mind control effect. The little mermaid drafted some pretty decent merfolk cards but their fourth pick was a complete bust. 
Undaunted, the Little Mermaid cut blue from the pack by taking a marginal pirate. But over the course of the rest of pack one, the Little Mermaid fell into a deep melancholy. Nothing was wheeling, and her first few picks began to lose their luster. Until finally, it was time for pack two. Hello. Whoa. Feeling disoriented? Uh, I'm actually feeling kind of greedy right now, but confused is a strong second place. Who are you? I'm your round one mirror match. You! You were the one cutting me in pack one. Hm. I was gonna say the same to you. Maybe we're both good at signaling. Or should I say, we were both good at signaling. You're not tempted to mess that up, are you? In this set, one black pip is no problem. Sure, you can cram a lot of treasure makers into your merfolk deck, and I'm sure that won't dilute anything. Look, just because I'm picking an objectively powerful card that needs maybe a little finessing to go into my deck doesn't mean that I'm gonna go- Go off the deep end? Are you sure you don't want to look at what you were just passed? Ooh. See, that's the problem. Treasure tokens can generate any color of mana, and that means a little temptation and all your hard work from pack one is just gone. We're not supposed to be communicating with one another during the draft, but that doesn't mean we don't speak through our picks. Are you sure you just want to throw your voice away? Are you kidding me? This deck is going to be amazing. What is four color non-white called? Moist Jund? Moldy Grixis. Glintai. And for the record, you've been passing your merfolk to me. Shouldn't that work? This is reading the signals. The rares are open. It's a shame you can't see anyone else's faces in this pod right now. They're a hoot, I assure you. Okay, if you're the... Wait, what is it in this story? A witch? A witch. If you're a wicked witch, shouldn't you be offering me something? Check your next pick. Remember. But no discussing the draft doesn't mean I can't hear what you're telling me. The Little Mermaid went on to put together a pretty weird but functional deck after almost everyone else's draft fell apart. Then split in the finals. The end. No moral. That was way better. Still room for improvement, though. Oh, no. Wikipedia is all out of fairy tale summaries. Gotta go. Too bad for you. I am not the least bit sleepy. Ben, I will tell you one more story. But if I miss Goose Number Three's big solo, then I'm gonna have to tell my sister why I was late, and she'll help you with the rest of your teeth. <laughs> this is the story of a very annoyed man. I feel attacked. Once there was a very proud wizard. You scrubs are really in for it this time. He boasted loudly of his magical accomplishments. My newest baby, my darling Commander Masterpiece, will mop the floor with the worthless pulp you call Dex. And tended towards exaggeration. Ha! Ah, if you can defeat all of my knights at Commander, I will pay for your half of the two-headed giant pre-release. But if you lose, you'll be mopping the floor, all right? Of the moon base bathroom! Ha! Huh. Thanks for the free pre release. Now all I need to do is build my deck. Which. Wait. Which commander was I set on? Nelson? I need help finding a card, but I don't remember the name. That's great, Cam. How about Firesong and Sunspeaker? They're cool, and you get two chances at guessing correctly. Clerics? No, 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 no. I must win a grand melee. The king has demanded a golden victory, and I... Okay, look, it's game night. I don't have my deck together, and I need a commander, and I can't remember the name. Oh, well, no problem. What does it do? I don't remember. Okay, what color is it? Not sure. What type of card is it? Is it a legendary creature, or is it one of those planeswalkers that's allowed to be your commander? Is this Oathbreaker? No! I must keep my vow or terrible things await me. Please, stranger, help me avoid this gruesome fate. Are you okay? I think it was... Red. Have you slept or eaten recently? Did you drink water today? I've got it. It's a very old card that attacks your opponent's hand unless you don't know which 
cards are in their hand. I see. Do you know who I'm talking about? I had this great idea for a commander deck, but it's all gone away. I'm sure if I could just see the commander, it would all come flooding back to me. <laughs> are you okay? I know which commander you're looking for, Cameron. This old man hasn't been reprinted since dating apps use the landline. His whereabouts are well hidden. Are, are, I, I have binders. I can make trades. <laughs> Not this time, I'm afraid. I'm going to need you to sort these piles of draft trap. Unless you can say the commander's name. But I've told you I can't remember his these name. These are my terms. I need a coffee. Coffee? Oh, hey, Cam. Hey, Serge. Yeah, I'm going to need a coffee if I'm going to navigate this hell I'm putting myself through. Do you want to come with? I, yeah. But what are you working on? I, popper side or options? Yeah, no, I, all I really want is this one old card that hand attacks sometimes. I can't remember the name, but I can see his weird wispy beard wafting through my memory. Oh, that old guy from Legends. Nelson was just telling me about that. It was, eh, not Ramirez. Right. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar! Nelson! It was Nebuchadnezzar! Thanks, Serge. Coffee's on me. Ooh. There you go. Thanks, Nelson. I've also got a list of like 30 or 40 other obscure cards that'll text. You know, it's standard stuff. You can figure it out. Anyways, let's go. Yeah. The end. Any complaints? Well, at least you had the decency to feign sleep. Hey, uh, thanks for tucking me in and reading me all those stories last night. How'd your niece's dance recital go? Did she nail the big solo? What stories? 